When you hear the term biological clock, you might think of a woman's life cycle, but in today, Dr. Zinn, he's going to explain that that term means so much more than just that. It doesn't apply just to women. Dr. Scott Ackerman is one of the first coast leading oncologists. He joins us every Friday. Today is no different. So when we talk about biological clock, it doesn't apply just to women. Correct. The biological clock, a lot of women think about, they think their biological clock is ticking. Can I have a baby before it ticks, you know, done ticking? Sure. But the biological clock is something we all have, men and women. And it refers to the innate mechanism we have in our body that controls our physiology, that controls our endocrine system, our metabolism, our behavior. And you've probably heard the term circadian rhythms. Sure. These are daily 24-hour cycles of rhythms, and that's how we, you know, some people wake up automatically because of our circadian rhythm. And this clock within us keeps us in sync with the Earth's cycle and um, directs different clocks that are found or, 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 or different things happen within organs in our body and tissues in our body and cells. So how does this then apply to medicine? How, how then is this become relevant in your world? Well, um, if you pay attention to your body's rhythm, you really can achieve better health. And there's some people that study just that, just that science of the body's rhythm and how we can achieve better health. And, and this, this field of medicine is called chrono-medicine, chrono like chronographer, okay. you know, uh, for watch, for clock, or chronotherapy or chrono-medicine. And research has shown us uh, that, um, that it's sometimes, there are better times of the day when tests can be performed on our bodies. Uh, when illnesses will be most severe, so when, so by understanding what time during the day an illness might be more severe, it helps you know when you can take medications and those sort of things. For instance, if you have a medicine that says take one time daily, what time of day do you take it? Some people take it in the morning, some people take it at night, some people take it at noontime. So there is a study of medicine to try to match up um, th those sort of things happen within our daily biological clock. So, for instance, so we could take medication at the time of day that's going to be most effective. That is a, fa a fascinating thing. You don't think about when you should be taking your medication that one time is better than another time. It doesn't even, you, you just think, okay, once a day I'll just pick that time, whatever is convenient for me. Well, for many medicines it doesn't matter. Many okay. medicines you can take at the same time every day, but medicines taken, at, uh, some medicines that are taken at the wrong biological time may not be as, as effective or they may have heightened side effects because they're taken uh, during that time of day. For instance, there's a drug I give a lot of my patients, uh, my, uh, some older men that I see, not, maybe not some of them not so old, I should say older because they're watching, they may think right, wait, wait a minute, right? Doc. <laughs> some, people, some men my age are, okay. and older, um, that are a drug called Flomax. And Flomax helps men uh, urinate more easily. You may have seen the commercials where the guy's playing golf and this way you can play a whole round of golf because he'll empties his it enables a man to empty the bladder more, uh, more completely and hence have to go to the bathroom and urinate less frequently. So Flomax allows us to do that. Well, Flomax has a side effect that causes some lightheadedness. So I tell my patients, take it before you go to sleep. Take oh, it before you, you lay down because you don't want to be lightheaded right when you're getting up, but when you're laying down, you won't notice it so much. Um, also, uh, we have a drug we talked about here not that long ago, statins. We talked about these statins. They're used to control uh, uh, cholesterol and decrease cholesterol. Well, cholesterol production is highest in the middle of the night. So statins are also a, a good to take just before bedtime so you have good high concentrations in the blood in the middle of the night when their cholesterol production is highest. Another example is H2 blockers uh, for uh, heartburns, so drugs like Pepsid or Zantac, that are, these are antacids. A lot of patients have GERD, gastrointestinal, gastroesophageal reflux disease, where they just have acid stomach. And so these um, are best taken 30 minutes before the last meal of the day. Again, in the evening, so 30 minutes before your dinner, because stomach acid production is highest during the night, so, and you're laying down, that acid comes up, so you want to take these 30 minutes before your, your, your last meal. And the final medication I want to give you as, as an example are asthma medications. Again, asthma medications should be taken mid to late afternoon, because it's in the evening and night, again, that uh, most patients with asthma have attacks and have trouble breathing. So yeah, it really makes a difference. And so this is something that we should be talking about with our doctors if it's not brought up already. Right, you should talk about the, your doctor about the symptoms and side effects you're having of a certain disease. And he or she can make recommendations of the best time to take medications. And also another thing that, that, that you have to consider also in this chrono medicine is what time of day you're doing certain uh, medical tests like uh, cardiograms or blood tests especially. 
uh, our blood changes during the day if we eat and, and th that changes it, but also it changes during the day. So I generally recommend to my patients that if they're getting a blood test, they do it first thing in the morning. That way we have some consistency from one uh, blood test to another. But anyway, always consult your doctor before changing a medication uh, routine, if changing the time of day, because uh, it, could, it could matter. Yeah, open dialogue. Thank you so much, Dr. Yeah. Ackerman. We always Thank appreciate you, you coming by and, and sponsoring this segment. For more information or questions regarding today's topic, any other health questions that you might have, you can connect with Dr. Ackerman on Facebook by visiting facebook.com forward slash First Coast Oncology.